Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to navigate through the Gear S. So uh, this is just going to be basics of how to navigate using this smartwatch, or smartphone rather. So first and foremost, you can uh, choose your watch face to move by holding down on the main screen. And then you can choose between all of your different watch faces that are built in. So you can see there's lots to choose from right off the bat, and then you can download more uh, if you go to your gear manager on your smartwatch. So, but if not, these are the ones that it comes with. You can also edit each of these just by hitting the edit button, and then you can kind of tap on them and see which ones. I like steps and notifications, but you can see also battery life is one of them, dual clock is one of them, and steps, of course. So you can kind of play around and edit each one as well. The nice thing about the new watch faces is they are more interactive. So if you hit steps, it will take you to S health. If you hit weather, it will take you to your weather. If you hit notifications, it'll take you to notifications. And if you hit date, it will take you to your schedule. So really nice and simple and easy to use. Now, if you swipe up from the top, traditionally this has been going back. So say if I went to um, anywhere else, I can just swipe up from the top and it'll go back. However, if you swipe it from the top on the main screen, you'll actually get your brightness output, your sound output, as well as switching into do not disturb mode, which is very, very nice and simple and easy to do. You'll also get an indication of your battery life as well, which is nice as well, just to have quickly and easily. If we go to the left side, we will see all of our notifications. So very simple, nice and easy. So first you can see your notifications in a list view. Then if you tap each of them, they will send you further to the left where you will see your notifications. Very simple and easy to do. If we swipe over to the right side, we will see our widget section. So this is a really nice and simple widget section. So this is uh, the music widget. Then you can swipe over and see the fitness widget. Then toggles and your news. So very simple and easy to get to and use. Of course, you can swipe further down to expand the widget on some of them and just kind of go more in depth. This one is one that you cannot. However, uh, with the toggles, you cannot. And the news, of course, you can. Now, what if you want to add more widgets? Well, if you swipe over, you can just add more. And so far, we have contacts, weather, SL schedule, settings. These are the current widgets. If you want to get rid of a widget, well, then you just hold it down and then you can actually remove it if need be. Very simple and easy. Now if we swipe up, we actually see all of our apps on the device. Now you can get more apps on the gear manager, which if you go all the way down below, it will tell you, but um, it comes with a lot of uh, good and basic apps such as email, calendar, text messaging, of course, navigator, running uh, via Nike Plus, S Health, your uh, news, weather, S health, alarm, find my device, gallery, and that is it. I've added some others, which is Opera Mini Browser, so I can browse the web. Milk Music, I can actually stream music to the device, and a game just to test out how games worked. So overall, though, this is uh, the basic navigation from here. If you want to check out your recent apps, you can check them out here, and then swipe each away to close them. So I can swipe each way or just close all. Very simple and easy to do. Now you can also go into settings from here and go more in depth, which I will have another video uh, for all the basic setting functions. When you hit home, it does take you back home and you can program what the double tap does, but normally one tap on your main screen will turn your screen off. And then if you double tap it, it will launch S voice. All right, guys, hopefully you like this video. Please, if you did, give a like, thumbs up and stay tuned for more Gear S videos. Thank you for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.